TheRhymeRelic.com. I'm Mike DeGeorge, joined by Eric Chu. And Eric found out last week he's headed to the NCAA Swimming Championship in the 100 Fly. And Eric, thanks for joining us. been a good couple of weeks for you. Bronze medalist in the 100 Fly at the ACC Championship and then following up with the school record in the last chance meet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite a ride for the last part of the season. Um, I mean, I really can't say I want to go out on a better note. Yeah, as a senior, I mean, you've kind of watched the development of this program over the last couple of years. It's got to be pretty cool for you to see how it's gone for you and how the program has advanced in, in, the, in your time here on the flats. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely been development. You know, um, Chris DeSantis, you know, the assistant coach, has been pulling in a lot of um, international talent. Um, our program has developed so much just because of that alone. Um, the training has been phenomenal because of it. Yeah, you're not just going to swim the 100 fly in the, at Indianapolis next week. You're also going to swim on four relays. So that's got to be pretty special for you to be there with some teammates and then swim on those relays as well. Yeah, I really couldn't imagine doing that alone. Uh, that'd be a little bit too nerve-wracking. But to be there with some friends, uh, you know, have some fun, get on some relays, really is a phenomenal experience. So you swam in the Olympic trials last summer. How do you think that prepares you for swimming now at Indianapolis next week at the NCAA championship? Um, you know, swimming at a meet of that scale at Olympic trials is, um, is definitely good preparation for something as big as the NCAA championships. Um, you know, it's, it's not the international stage at the Olympic trials, but you're still swimming a world-class meet. And the NCAA championships is no different. It's really hard to make it back. It's the fattest, or fastest short course meet in the world. Um, you know, the competition's fierce. I know you and I talked off camera about kind of wrapping up your senior season and thinking that the ACC championship might have been your last meet, and then you go into the last chance meet and set a school record. How do you kind of refocus yourself now and get yourself back in the mindset that uh, we still have one more big meet left? I mean, I can't say I'm, any, I'm happier. You know, it's, it's really great to um, be able to get back up there just one more time and uh, do your thing. So kind of uh, how's the preparation going for the, meet, uh, for the meet next week and has uh, your spring break at all changed uh, by, by you going to Indianapolis next week? Um, yeah, I'm, it's changed a lot. You know, I'm here on campus. Um, not doing the whole, you know, Southern Florida thing like everyone else on campus is. Um, but I can't think of a better way to, to miss for spring break. Industrial design major, do you have plans? Uh, what are your plans after you graduate from Georgia Tech? You know, after graduating, getting into the design community is, uh, you got to be pretty aggressive with it. So I think, um, you know, heavy networking, uh, really getting my name out there as a designer is my next step in life. You know, being a swimmer is one thing, but being a designer and a professional is a completely different ballgame. So. All right, Eric, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned to RhymeLarec.com for highlights as uh, Eric and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets swim in Indianapolis next week at the NCAA Championship. Congrats and thank you.